in Connecticut, there are now 1,291 people who have contracted COVID-19. And in the past three weeks, 27 people have died from it, six since yesterday. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live at the Capitol where Governor Lamont just updated us on this outbreak. Matthew. Yeah, Dennis, we now have a timeline as to when the coronavirus could peak in our state. That timeline is the second week of April. So now that we know the time frame, it is going to be a race against time to be prepared. And right now, taking a look at where we stand, we might not be. Let's start off with the ventilators. That's going to be the thing that can save lives. We have 932 in Connecticut. We have an order for 1,500. That has not been fulfilled yet, possibly because of backlogs. The governor says if we don't get them when when this crisis reaches this peak, lives will be lost. Now to the hospital space. Will we be prepared for the expected influx? We have 6,800 hospital beds. More space is being worked on right now at dorms and nursing homes. State officials say right now 15% of everyone in the hospital is related to the coronavirus. Again, expect that percentage to increase as we continue to move toward that second week of April. And listen to Governor Lamont describe the struggles we're having in getting some of this necessary equipment to our state. A lot of equipment was scheduled to arrive right now, and some of it's been pushed back. Uh, the thermometers till next week, thermometers, 3,000 thermometers, very important because that's a way to self-test people going into, say, the factory floor, construction sites, hospitals, uh, daycare. I'm pretty sure that'll be here next week. Pretty sure is the operative word. So again, the big headline here from this news briefing is that the coronavirus in Connecticut is expected to peak in the second week of April. Right now, the state, as well as hospital officials, they are working tirelessly to make sure that we are going to be prepared when that uh, peak arrives. And that includes paying up to 10 times more than they currently do for some of this medical equipment. So much more coming on uh, later on in this broadcast. But for now, that is the latest live here at the Capitol. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News. Okay, Matthew.